Hi, this is Pastor Steve with an encouraging word. Well, we're at the end of the week, and I've got one more question for you. Again, we spent this week looking at the five questions we use here at St. Mark to help us along in our journey with God, to help us get a picture, a response out of our own lives as we reflect on how we're walking with God, if we're growing in our faith, if we're more aware of God's presence. The last question to look at today is, who am I walking with? The idea of our mission to leave a mark of Christ means we're going to touch the lives of others. We do this by staying close, connected, and hopeful with God, one another, and our community. And so to be close to people is to connect with them. To connect with them is, well, is to walk with them. Who am I walking with? Make sure that I'm not just all about myself and my faith, but it's a faith that's shared and lived out in relationship to others. It's like Jesus saying the great commandment is to love your Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. It says there's a second just like it to love your neighbor, those near you, as you love yourself. A lot of times we make faith a personal thing, and it kind of is, but Jesus and me is never meant to be all there is. It's Jesus and we that completes the circle be a member of the body of Christ, to be part of the church, is to be connected to Jesus and to others. That's why it may not be surprising to learn there's about over 40-some times it talks about doing something with one another, that we need each other, and that we need to be in relationship with each other. We need to walk with each other. Let me give you an example of just from 1 Peter chapter 4. I'll read verses 8 through 10. See how many one another's you hear. Above all, maintain constant love for one another, for love covers a multitude of sins. Be hospitable to one another without complaining. Like good stewards of the manifold grace of God, serve one another with whatever gift each of you has received. Love one another, be hospitable to one another, serve one another. That takes walking with others. I need other people in my life and being connected to them, walking with them, as I seek to walk with Christ. This past week, if you noticed, I record the devotionals in Dan's office and John's office. Those are two people I've been walking with for almost since the time I've been here at St. Mark. But we know John's being called and assigned to another church, appointed there, and Dan's retiring, although, of course, he's still staying in the community, still staying a part of St. Mark. But our relationship will change. And people I've walked with, such as Dan and John, will not walk with me in the same way in the future. That does make me a little bit sad, but I know other persons are coming too. And part of life is walking with people and then at times having those relationships change and walk with other people. But the important thing is to walk with others. And whom I'm walking with, ask that question. John and Dan have been impact on my life. They have touched my life, leaving a mark of Christ even as hopefully I have with them. So now we come to the end of the week and the end of the questions. So who am I walking with? Who are you walking with? That's the question for today. We're not meant to live by ourselves. As the saying goes, no man or woman is an island. God knew we needed others, needed one another. And so to leave a mark of Christ, we need to walk with others. To stay close, connected, and hopeful with God and one another in our community means we'll walk with others. So who am I walking with? Is there someone new in my life? To walk with someone, maybe a short journey, maybe just to walk across the aisle in a grocery store to encourage someone, maybe to write them a note or a text, an email, or send a card. To walk with others means I see them and I'm responding to them. I'm seeking to care for them, to one another them as I'm called to in Scripture. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the week. Uh, we'll be taking some time off from devotions for the next month or so. We thought it was too much in June to ask John and Dan to try to keep doing devotions. And in July, with new people coming, it seemed a lot to ask them to jump right into it. So probably in August sometime, we'll come back with some format and continue our devotions. Well, we may not be having devotions for a time, but of course, I hope to see you in worship services or other activities here at the church that we can share together the life of Christ as we're called to, 
asking the questions of ourselves that help us grow and walking with others along the way. As always, that's an encouraging word today from Pastor Steve.